Yes, sir. Well, that you I saw half an hour ago, falling out of a row. Well, yes, sir. Actually, I didn't fall out of it, sir. I just sort of came out of it lower down, that's all. I must say they are a bit different from the Gamecock. Well, don't do it again without plenty of height. Yes, sir. And that applies to all of you. Don't do low aerobatics. Should be all right if you know your stuff, sir. Two pilots have killed themselves in the last month doing low aerobatics. They knew their stuff. It's all part of the game. They were just unlucky, that's all. Ever since you were chosen for the Hendon Air Display, you've been the worst defender of all. Better pilots than you have killed themselves for defying the rules. Well, surely we don't have to obey all the regulations all the time, sir. You know my views about some regulations. They're written for the obedience of fools and the guidance of wise men. Yes, sir. So you've said frequently. Douglas. Sir? A really good pilot shouldn't have to prove it all the time, you know. I understand, sir. See you at the mess dance tonight. You bet, sir. I shall want to use this again, Harry. Well, I understand if you pass your medical, you'll be going for a test at Central Flying School. I'll pass. Look, you've got an Avro here, haven't you? Yes. Hey, wait a minute. Well, I only want a bit of jewel just to get the feel of it. Sorry. Dead against the rules, Douglas. The rules? They were written for the obedience of fools and the guidance of wise men. Remember? <laughs> Take her, Douglas. Thanks, Harry. Are you on your hat? 